Hello and welcome to our Coromil Plura Insights broadcast. In the next seven episodes, we would like to show you how to use the CoroPlus tool guide to easily obtain highly productive and cost-efficient solutions for your machining tasks. In the first episode, we are dealing with full slot grooving, which we as Sami Cormat call a heavy-duty application. We use this tool guide here to show you how to quickly get a safe and efficient solution with the right strategy, tools, and cutting values. So we start. Good. Before we start with tool guide, let's short explain what tool guide is. Tool guide is a software that you can find directly on the Sandy Cormat website. And here you'll find useful information on all of our tools and useful information on your machining applications. This can work not only on your PC, but also on your smartphone or on your tablet. And this is an open platform that you can connect directly to your CAM or other software systems. So for this exercise, we would like to machine a slot of 20 millimeters times 40 millimeters depth. The material is steel C45 with a hardness of 207 Brunel. And here we like to go on tool guide and find the right tool and the right parameters for this heavy duty application. So let's do it. So here we are on the Sandy Cormat website. And on the right side, we have a tab that says, what would you want to do today? You can download this on your phone as a application. It's called the iFind app. We open this and here we go for find cutting data. We click on it and then find optimize cutting data. And this will take us directly to tool guide. Here we click on tool guide and we open the application. First thing we do, we always want to start with selecting our material. And here we have, we said C45. And we have C45, 207 Brunel, Dean New. Once we select it, then we can move back to our task. And our task is non-rotating. And we want to produce a slot. We click on the slot and straight slot with one open end. We have here with two open ends, but this application is suitable for side uh, uh, grooving. And this is more suitable for the round tools. And here we define our application. And on the right side, we see when we click on the tab, it tells us exactly what input we need to uh, enter. So we have uh, here, we said we have 40 millimeters depth. We see the width, which width is 20 millimeter. And general length, we leave it at 100. And we have to define the radius, which is half our cu cutter, 10 millimeters. And now we say, get results. We click here and we see our first recommendation is a 20 millimeter end mill and we see it's a five flute or five edge cutter. We can see quickly here the cutting values 201 at a feed of 0.11. We can click on show details and we see more details about our application. You can also change the view to horizontal lines. And we see here we have 201 speed, 0.11 feed per tooth, and spindle speed. And what's important is, of course, number of passes. We see here we're taking two passes. That means a depth of cut of 20 millimeter. 
important is to see how much is the material removal rate, which it's our productivity, 708 cubic centimeters per minute. And also we can see here economy data. If we can click here, we see the total cutting time per slot, six seconds, and how many slots can we produce with these values, with these parameters. So we see here we can produce 375 slots milling with this uh, cutting data and uh, values. So why don't we take now the, this values from tool guide and we go on the machine and let's see how it looks like. So that was quite good performance straight out of Toolguy. But the tool we are using is designed for a two times diameter. So we can take the slot in one pass. So let's try to increase the depth of cut to 40 millimeters and take it in one pass. For this, we'll go with the same speed of 201 meter and a feed of 0.07. The result of the material removal rate is over one liter in volume or over 1,000 cubic centimeters per minute. Let's see this one. Yes, we see it works, but this is an absolute limit load. With each edge in cut, the resulting cutting forces are over 12,000 newtons, or 1.2 tons. We do not recommend it for your serious production unless optimum conditions are met. There you can work very productively and safely with the recommended values from Tool Guide. We hope that in this first episode, you have found helpful insights to heavy-duty machining. As mentioned, you can easily find the Coro Plus Tool Guide on our Sanvi Cormat website. Stay with us and watch the second episode where we will talk about pocket milling. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, make the best of your solid round tools.